Okay, so Kathy, this is the part before we get started where we let our our YouTube audience know how comfortable it is to actually just pick up an iPad and start taking video, right? Yes, it yes. is. It so is. we just ask everybody to turn their phones off. Oh. Yeah, and <laughs> are the ringers off? <laughs> we do have a studio audience today, so just know you may hear some some language or hear our, watch our face go off to camera for a little bit, and uh, it's totally cool. You're gonna dig it. Um, so, Raul's about to get rocking. Hello, one, two, three. Hi, everybody. Hello, one, two, three. Uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we're ready? We are ready. All right, let's put some... <laughs> All right. Let's put some gin in this tonic. Ready? Well, hello there. You're listening to the Offbeat Business Show. This is Susan Hamilton, and uh, we are here with Kathy Brandon today. I'm real excited to uh, share her with you because she agrees, as I do, <laughs> that it's time that we make a whole lot more sense of the fact that 80% of us are of American small businesses are family-owned businesses of nine employees or less. That means we are building our businesses while we're raising our kids, taking care of our parents. We probably have a veteran in our midst that's either bringing their A game uh, and, and really empowering our company to do some of the amazing things we do, or is this possible that they're struggling with uh, reintegration after deployment? Mm -hmm. And more and more, about 30% of us are very aware of what addiction can do in our families and how, well, how that changes our focus when we're in business, Kathy. Jim and Crickets, we see it all the time, don't all we? All the time. So our focus this month uh, in March is all on, is on publishing because we want to talk about all this, all the ways that the Offbeat Business Show and Magazine and many, many others who you will meet this month uh, are using media to grow their business, expand their brand, and leverage uh, their voice uh, throughout the internet these days, and that's so, so important. Kathy, you've been at this a while, so Happiness TV, tell us about it. Yeah, well, Happiness TV launched about three years ago, and honestly, Susan, the reason I launched Happiness TV was because I was working with professional speakers, and we were expanding their content, and doing social media for them, and helping them build their business, but everybody was afraid of video, and nobody really likes to you, see themselves not afraid, on you? camera. <laughs> And, Everyone is. Yeah, and yeah. I was working with clients, and I was that person. So, oh, really? Right. Okay. Absolutely that person. I think everybody is at first. I think so. Yeah. And so I would work with my clients and help coach them to get bold and brave on TV, on video, on audio, and just kind of give content the way people want it. And then I was, like, quaking in my boots anytime I had to go in an interview and just was a hot mess. Yeah. And so I decided the best way that I can ever serve and step into my fear is to serve other people. Mm -hmm. And so I created Happiness TV Network and I invited all my clients who were, I go. call it, tangled up in your underwear over video. Did and, that. Right, we all have that. And so I invited all of them to be on the show and we just jumped on the show. We didn't have any strategy. It was the only piece of my company that I didn't have a revenue plan for because it was really just trying to get out of my way. Mm. And mm -hmm. um, I so, love that. You know, there's many times in my life I've, I've noticed also that that thing that scares you is probably the thing you need to step into and yes, uh, yeah. master. And Absolutely. when you do, it is. Uh, I heard somebody talk about that's that your Goliath is in front of your gates, right? Before your next level. Yeah, uh, yeah. And that really was holding up my entire company. It was. It truly was holding up our ability to serve mm. because I, as the owner, as the leader was just kind of sitting there in my fear. So once we started, we started running it on Google Hangout. How did that work? Because I think a lot of us really struggle with Google Hangout. That wasn't an easy thing to do. If you mastered that, I mean, you just... Well, I'm a techie. Yeah. I'm ex-Microsoft, so I have an affinity. Oh, okay, okay. You know, software likes me, yeah. and I like software. So this is good to know. Good, yeah. You will find all Kathy's <laughs> contact information underneath right. this video. <laughs> just Google happiness check. That's what we do. But... You know, so there wasn't a software package that I really met that I didn't like, kind of like a cookie, right? I've never met a cookie I didn't like either. But so cookie monster, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So what we did was I had to look around at, at what was actually going to give us the biggest bang for our buck. Right, right. And so what I decided, Google was the king of the hill, and still kind of there. And so I'm all about leveraging the resources that are actually going to grow the business. And so when I started looking at the way we could do video, the way we could do audio, right. 
I looked at, okay, who owns the mountaintop? Well, Google owns the mountaintop. Okay. Um, Google Hangout was not being leveraged like it is today. Yeah. So I was a, I had the opportunity to be a pioneer. And I'm used to that because I am ex-Microsoft, so I've launched a lot of new products into the marketplace that people use each and every day. Are you still using Hangout for Happiness TV? I am Are you still serious? using Hangout for okay, Happiness TV. Okay, because that was really a, a struggle mm -hmm. to get people on. Can you give us one tip oh my gosh. for how, if you decide that mm -hmm. you want to do uh, television broadcasting through Google Hangout, can you give our audience one tip that helps everybody find it how do you get your guests to find it that was the struggle that I had and let that. me talk to all the television show hosts out there and anybody who wants to be on video because you can use this for product development as well it's a low-end high quality product if you use it that way what I do with my clients and we still do it three years later is I have my clients call me on the phone 10 minutes before their interview. Oh, so you're walking through that process. Literally, tech support 101. Yeah, because it's not easy it. just to say, open this link and get in there. Well, I mean, it's, that, it's that a, was a challenge. It's a total social media tool with chat and video, and it's so big. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was at Microsoft, I managed the Office products, and those products are so huge that you, you truly only know a snippet of what you're using it for. Mm. And so a lot of times when people would come on my show, because I work with speakers and entertainers and, and doctors and, and people who, who need to get their face out there. And other radio shows. And radio shows, By just the like way. you. Yeah, I know. Uh, but what we would do is we would teach them how to use the tool. Yeah. And what a lot of them have done since then mm -hmm. is they're using it now. And so they're actually broadcasting, like there are a lot of radio shows that mm -hmm. are broadcasting through Google Hangout. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, if you broadcast through Google Hangout, it'll automatically go to YouTube. And so here's how the process works. Okay. You get somebody up on Google Hangout, mm -hmm. you run your interview. Mm -hmm. Obviously, don't make your interview two hours long unless it's something the whole world wants because nobody will stay yeah. for that. Yeah, that's why we stay right. with the 20 minutes. Right? Yeah, I stay with 15, 20 minutes myself. It'll go up to YouTube. Now you can have a beginning and an end put on it. We do not because we're all about just being real and we want to show people in their homes. We mm -hmm. want to show people in their natural habitat, including mine. And so it goes up to YouTube and you can privatize it until you're ready to launch it. Right, right. So that's what we do mm -hmm. after the interview's over. We privatize the YouTube. We um, do the description of the interview. We put search engine optimization. Which has changed over the last five years for you. It for has really guys, changed. YouTube videos. Yeah. It now has. your guest this afternoon, Byron, is mm -hmm. going to be a real help. So yeah. I can't uh -huh. wait to leverage his knowledge. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And no, you, you're you're right. Um, you can do this private. And friends, that's exactly how we do this video. Absolutely. When you get the, this video, we're recording it, and it'll on my iPad, and it'll go directly into. Uh, I'll upload it into YouTube Capture, and I'll keep it private until I've got an opportunity to go in there and get everything right, because by the time your video is launching, you absolutely want your description correct, and you want that, that search capacity there, and you want to be mm -hmm. able to, to share it easily with that link. So it allows yeah. you some space. And you want to do more yeah. than that, right? There, there is a, I call it a symphony of search engine optimization, and that's how I look at it is, you know, if you want to be get up on Google, if you want to be seen, if you want to increase your brand, it's not enough to just have a website anymore. No. It's not enough no. to just post good stuff on mm -hmm. social media. Where you have to be is you have to be on the tools that actually dominate search, who are building the algorithms. Mm -hmm. And so YouTube is owned by Google. So you run a video on Hangout, you're using the king of the hill. You pop it over on YouTube, you're using the king of the hill. You take that YouTube and you embed it into your website, on your blog, mm -hmm. and which is you, much easier to do if you're using WordPress. But if yeah, you, you, you if you've got a developer, you can also hand, pass that information off, and they can Sister, do that. Sister, I well. have a client that is actually using Wix, yeah, and they are dropping in their videos into that little tool. And I'm I'm a WordPress house, you guys, so I typically wouldn't recommend Wix. But I've been There's watching a lot my more, There are a lot of Everybody's website Everybody's come a long way. Yeah. Yeah, there really are. Oh, my gosh, yeah. yes. And if we don't talk about it, and one thing I really don't like us to do is get stuck in these ruts of this is how we do things. We've got to fight that. That We have a different market Absolutely. today, a different way of approaching people, and we need to make sure that we are offering their information in a way that's most palatable to them because so many people are searching for videos, mm -hmm. but so many people are listening to podcasts and to audios. 
those are huge ways that we can, you know why? Because we're busy. Yeah. That's stuff you can press yeah. a button and get your information and move on. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, there are still people that enjoy reading. So if you, mm -hmm. and, and there's an SEO search engine optimization benefit mm -hmm. to reading, so to text. So you need to make sure that information is also available in, in text. And you have but, to have all of it. Like one of the things that my clients come to me for and we work a lot with is, is being able to have content that I call it consumable content. And basically what that means, I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. If somebody wants to sell to me and they want to use their content to reach me, I am a very busy woman with 11-year-old twins that are the center of my universe. If you do not put your content in an audio and sound bites of 9 to 15 minute increments, you will never, ever, ever reach me. And it's not because I work with people on content. I am just like that. I read, I mm. listen. I consume information. Well, we're managing that information Absolutely. consumption along with our life and along with our life yes. and business. And, and we really have yeah. to respect that because, as I mentioned at the opening of the show, uh, we, we are very distracted today. The focus Absolutely. is not, we've got to do everything we can mm -hmm. to bring our A-game yes. in an environment there where there's a lot of chaos. Well, and we have to build, you know, it's not enough to just be traditional like we used to be, mm -hmm. right? We'd look at who our target market is and, you know, inside that pre-work you know, we understand who we want to serve. And so we go ahead and just assume we know how they want to receive. Mm -hmm. And everybody pays a lot of lip service to really paying attention to the customer. And I didn't understand until I was actually at Microsoft and they put me in this task force where you don't know what your customers want unless you know what they're doing in their day-to-day -day life. Yes, and yes, so yes, as yes. a mom, as a business owner, mm -hmm. I have a very specific thing that I do every single day of my life and if somebody is not in my day-to-day -day in the way that I am going to use mm -hmm. the way I am going to consume they've lost me yeah and there are too many people out there offering the same thing and so you know that's the biggest thing that I want to tell the listeners and really send it home to you is if you can use the tools like even if you're doing radio and video off of Google Hangout Put that up on YouTube, tie it to your website, have the description in YouTube, and Byron will talk a lot about that yeah, too, does, so I'll let know. him be the expert there, but make sure your description and your keywords in YouTube are literally the words that somebody uses in their day. Like, I define keywords as keywords equal words that people type in Google to find stuff. Well, that's interesting. Because that's a true, true statement. Well, you know, if you want to talk keywords just a little mm -hmm. bit, I've, I've really got my own ideas about that yeah. also. Because on the one hand, that search engine optimization, knowing what your keywords are, of course you want to be where what people are already typing in. Mm -hmm. But so many people don't realize how they can how they can actually tailor that for Classic. them and start yeah. ma start manipulating those results to, yeah, to tailor them your way. What yeah. do you want your audience to know about you? Absolutely. And guess what? They're searching on things that you may not anticipate. So if you're doing everything all old standard, mm -hmm. this is what people are looking on. Wait a minute, there's some other things that people are looking on. And you, and you won't to, know unless yeah. you play, with, play in that field a little bit. Well, and you have yeah. to ask. You right? do have to ask. Like, I have a client that's writing children's books. Well, I gave her a book to my 11-year-old son. And I said, look. I will give you three dollars, which is huge <laughs> to eleven year old. That's like a game awesome. or an app. Right. And um, I said, I will give you three dollars to read this book and give me feedback. He's like, Oh, well, you can give her feedback. You're her, you're you. You know how to do that. And I'm like, I'm not her audience. She doesn't want to hear from me because mm -hmm. I'm old. She doesn't want old people's feedback. She wants young people's feedback like you. And he's like, Oh well. You let your client know that I will get her feedback on her in a couple of days. <laughs> you became all Mr. Professional. Right. Uh, right? It, but as a mom and as a professional, right, it's my yeah. job to give her honest feedback mm -hmm. from the people that want to buy. Mm -hmm. And so, I exactly. Think we're yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to go to break and you're about to hear from our sponsors. Uh, but I just want to thank our audience uh, again. Thank you for, for uh, sharing your valuable lunch hour with us. We don't want to waste your time. We always want to bring you. Uh, information that you can use immediately, information that lights you up and gets you excited about being in business again today and about doing something different. This is Susan Hamilton. You're listening to the Offbeat Business Show. When we get back, we're going to hear more from Kathy Brandon. And I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. Back in a minute. We're good. Okay. That sounds good so far. Yes. Yes. Um, the second half I have to cover? <clears throat> All of the same. I'm not sure yet. 
Yes. <laughs> the same we expected, different. yes. There's more to it, though. Uh -huh. There's the whole other side. Like, this is how we can build the business through Google Hangout. But mm -hmm. there's a whole other side of reaching consumers and the reason we put Happiness TV together. You know, we really want a 24-hour place for it's people more, to go and be uplifted yeah. and they can get positive. You know, at night you're watching Sons of Anarchy. So we're going to talk more about in the about morning you can wake going. up and get some happiness. And okay, so, good, right. so we'll talk about that <coughs> in the next segment. Now you know what we're up to because yeah, this see, part doesn't get that's edited. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Okay. Are you ready to butter this corn? Yeah. And we're back. Hi, this is Susan Hamilton. You're listening to the Offbeat Business Show, and I'm talking with Kathy Brandon, the Happiness Chick. And we are t focused all of March on publishing because we represent the 80% of American small business that are family-owned businesses of nine employees or less. That means we're building our families while we're raising our kids, taking care of our parents, probably have a veteran in our midst, or a family or workspace, and more and more likely we have a, an addict in our family. So our focus is, is really something and we're distracted and it, it takes a lot to do business today but I want to encourage you when you start uh, getting into media you're, you're going to get real excited about the possibilities and, and the ways that you can approach your audience. So Kathy has been reaching out to people with uh, Happiness TV. How long have you been doing that Kathy? About three years. About three years. three years. And she's using Google Hangout and I wanted you to know about that because that's not an impossible feature. Um, and there, there are ways that you can, where, how are you getting your information, right? You are already going to video to get your information. Uh, so it's important as a, as a business to not say, well, I won't be in video because you've got to be in that space mm -hmm. to say in that, where that information mm -hmm. is. Absolutely. So talk to us about what's going on with Happiness TV because while we are a business to business yeah. platform, you're not. Yeah. Happiness TV is all about um, encouraging our community to start rolling in some happy. Yes. And, uh, you know, 2005 is when Ready for Happiness was founded. It took us a while to come to the table with Happiness TV. And, you know, we, we primarily focused on happy business from 2005 to three years ago. Mm -hmm. And as we worked with business owners and got their businesses up, they would come back to the table and say, well, you know what, my business is great, but, you know, my wife hates me, um, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because I've been building a business for years and I've been ignoring everything. And, uh, or, yeah. you know, my business is great, my family's great, but, oh, my gosh, you know, I've gained, like, 50 pounds uh, traveling. Oh, don't you see that a lot. Eating hamburgers, yeah. right? Uh -huh. So, you know, people came to us for something else. Well, you know, as much as I'd love to be the expert of everything, right. obviously I'm not, and I'm very self-aware, so I stay in my wheelhouse, which is business. And so I had all these amazing clients that you know were experts in business were I mean were business owners but they were experts in bodies they were experts in families they were experts in you know creating a happy spirit and so what I decided to do one day was you know we need to introduce the world to happiness uplifting and I started looking at TV I was watching Sons of Anarchy at the time it was one of my favorite programs kind of crazy but it really was um, I know, that doesn't always go with happiness. Well, you know, you know I hate are but, right? But, you know, I like good TV. And so I was watching Sons of Anarchy, and I was watching on Facebook the next day how everybody was talking about it, and blah, blah, blah. And I was thinking, you know, I want to, I want to, you know, I have a diverse palette of what I like to watch. But who's in charge of happiness? Like, what's out there where somebody can just go 24 hours a day, kind of like MTV, right? They came to the table saying, we want 24 hours of music. And I thought that was a beautiful and music idea. commentary, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, it became commentary right. after that. Uh, but it was primarily music in the beginning. And I wanted to do something like that. I wanted a resource where people could go to the Internet and they could actually access real people who are creating unique ways of being happy in the world. So I give figured, us some examples of that. Okay. I'll tell you. Um, we have, I've had um, chefs come on the show who are actually creating great, foods and we're about to launch a cooking show with that chef food makes me very yeah happy. I like food too yes. so if you connect to me on social media I am one of those people that post my food and uh, I just am so it works for us <laughs> people like to see my food but I interviewed this chef right and what she did was amazing stuff like she cooks great food uh -huh. that's really tasty you know like she will make a beat good and I'm not a fan not of a beet. hard to make good. You don't do anything to a beet. I have never been a friend with a beet. My I'm just goodness. telling you. I haven't. It's okay. just slimy and wiggly yeah, and weird. And <laughs> she makes it awesome 
And so she posted this dish on Facebook. I was like, I have to have you on my show because if you can make a beet look good to me, mm -hmm. that's great go. stuff. Yeah. So I put her on the show and it was just amazing the stuff that she did. She got all sorts of opportunities just by being on the show. And then also other people who were like caterers, they would come to the show and they'd see what she, would, she was building. And I don't know how many caterers, because I don't have that data, but she inspired all sorts of people because she was doing it. And that's what I find in the world, mm -hmm. is if you can that's find one doing person Absolutely. that is doing that, they mm -hmm. may not be doing it exactly the way you think it should be done, but they're out there doing it. And if you think of another way to get yeah. that same thing done, that means you rock in that area, lift it up, yeah. go for it. Yeah. Uh, there's really nothing stopping you today from exploring how you want to approach using media because there are so yeah. many ways. Now you're talking food, but that's not the only way we get happy. No. And there's so at and all. do you still cover business topics? We cover a lot of business okay. topics. We talk about social media. We talk about writing that book. We mm. talk about being on a radio show and, 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 and how powerful Which is very it cool. Is. You should really reach out to me. Yeah, no. you should really reach out to Susan. But um, you know, we, we have you know, I have coaches, I have professional speakers. Okay. I have doctors. Mm -hmm. I had a psychiatrist on the show or psychologist on the show that specializes in helping kids with ADHD and OD and those type of medication-based solutions get off the medication mm -hmm. through food, through therapy, through a different lifestyle. Right. Yeah, Boom. isn't that awesome? Yes. And so, you know, there are parents out there that have their kids on ADHD medication. I have no judgment, whatever kind of parent you are, it's all good. But we also have alternatives that parents don't know about. That's the, I think and that's yeah, big. That is, and if big. we can do that, like we yeah. show people, there's another way. Mm -hmm. You don't have to just do the same way everybody mm -hmm. else is doing it. You can take the piece that's working for them that you think is way cool and groovy, and you can pull that, leverage that, and then create this way of serving and helping the world in your own way. So we want to show real people who are doing that, and hopefully our goal is that it will inspire other people, and it has. Yeah, it, it absolutely does. You know, in 2016, mm -hmm. we, we have this incredible opportunity to do, you know, go where no one's ever gone before, or go where everyone's gone before, and, yeah. and, and leverage that mm -hmm. on our own behalf and start to make sense of yeah. what it means to be in business today, what it means to have the relationships uh, in the community mm -hmm. today, and how, mm -hmm. how you do that. Mm -hmm. And seriously, the, between... Uh, publishing magazines and radio mm -hmm. and television those things are very much alive mm -hmm. and it's time to fire that awareness back up and mm -hmm. see what can really happen for people because they can take that passion whatever Absolutely. that thing that makes them you know happy uh, which is a big deal you don't want to go through this life uh, you know if you're if you're miserable you're doing something wrong <laughs> right. I mean, there, we were designed yeah. to not just do what's easy and what comes in front of us you know it doesn't I worked a full-time job for four years and had newborn twins and I still built a business and so well we're not all Wonder it. Woman well and oh, I wasn't stars, Wonder Woman I either imagine. I was a hot mess no, during that I, time and I raised five of them but I certainly yeah. didn't work I didn't run my own business at that at the same time when they were that small was there was hard. no more focus yeah. and twins I can't imagine I always wanted to be a twin. I bet your life is so fun. You know what's funny is I, they were my first children. And so I was yeah. only pregnant once in my life, and I had twins. And so I figured when you start with twins, I'm a little bit of an overachiever, <laughs> right? So, you know, when you start with twins, you probably need to shut down the factory. Because yeah. I was old. I was 36. <laughs> and I was like, you know, if you're going two by two, I felt like a schoolhouse rock commercial, right? <laughs> two by two by two. So... You guys, I probably aged myself by talking about Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> no, this is, that's awesome, Kathy. You know, I really enjoy uh, every time that I talk with you because you just keep it real. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. just it. And that's what I want people to see. The, too many times what I saw... Uh, that's it was, what people want. You know, they want you real. That's what your magic is. But the struggle with the small business owner frequently is, if my message isn't absolutely perfect, I need to keep it to myself because someone's liable to misconstrue it. I've actually had people tell yeah. me that uh, they, legally speaking, when it comes to health care, they can't say they're the best. What are you talking about? We can't help anybody who's not the best. I can't say <laughs> you are almost as good as the next guy. That's, that doesn't work. Uh -huh. You have to be able to say you're the best, but you, you, know, you have to just embrace all of these things uh, and people don't differently realize, today. Be real. Yeah. People yeah. don't realize that I tell everybody this. 
what is weird about you? Like, kind of weird. Your yeah. friends will like you. Your spouse will like you. It's kind of weird. And you're usually ashamed of whatever that is because I find that most people are ashamed mm-hmm. of the most beautiful part of themselves. And But that's what we do. Tweet that. Yeah. <laughs> right? Tweet that. Tweet yeah. that. But it's true. Your weird is what sets you apart, not only as a human person, friendships and all that goodness, but as a business owner, as a talented resource for this world, you know, one doctor is not going to be the same as another doctor. They can practice the exact same medicine. But that strange doctor, like my child psychologist, right? He's the strangest dude, but he is so powerful because when my twins met him, he was like, hey, dude, how you doing? And they were like, oh, yeah, you know, hey, hey, hey. And he was like, yeah. He said, uh, don't put your feet on my furniture. And they kind of looked at him. My kids are kind of defiant. Go figure. And they just kind of looked at him, and they kind of lifted their leg. And he was like, yeah, you can do that, but... I'm not a very nice person, so you may not, you know. And this is your psychologist. This is a psychologist, right? That's just it. But he he believes in being Mm -hmm. real with people. But I think that that, real with kids, and that's power. But somewhere somewhere along the line, I'm glad he does. But somewhere along the line, there there are people that feel like those are the types of things that cause them to not be able to go forward. When in fact, that's exactly what makes you approachable. That's exactly. And that approachability is is just so important because we all know on the inside we're jacked up. Oh, oh so bring it. <laughs> yeah, bring it. And, <laughs> I'm more and, likely to trust you well, if I see that yeah. it's not uh, pretentious. I can't trust someone that's too perfect. Now, that, that may be a flaw in my character. That it very well could be. You know, I'm almost 50, and I've we seen a whole bunch of them. So yeah. it could certainly be a flaw in my character. <laughs> but I would I rather... Like I like eccentric right? people. I love to surround myself with the Be eccentric. human with me, yeah. right? Because yeah. we can all work together and create a really good That's just it. I think network. you know something there. There's uh-huh. creativity in that. And Absolutely. you yeah, there is and to say that you're going to create your network. Did yeah. you hear that? That was yeah. a huge piece of yeah. gold. Uh, and, and I really hope you take that with you because you do create your network. Uh, whatever you have now, yeah. if you say you're working within a group of people that, you know, you're not feeling uh, celebrated. Oh well, there's that, but even um, like you're really participating. It's gotten mm-hmm. mundane. It's gotten routine. Mm-hmm. You're just showing up to this networking meeting. You're not really doing. Wow, go somewhere else. Change find, up. Or yeah. even find a different way to present yourself at the same meeting and start mm-hmm. getting out and, and create your network. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And make sure that you're connecting with other people who are using digital media. And so when you get out there and get people will hold your hand and walk you right through it. We want you here. This mm-hmm. is the place where mm-hmm. things are getting done today. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Kathy, how? Excuse me. <laughs> Kathy, how can people reach out to you? How can they find you? You can find me on readyforhappiness.com, and we have all sorts of forms on there that you can fill out whatever you're interested in. Um, you can also reach out to me on social media. Um, if you do a Google search on happiness chick, all one word, I'm like the top two pages. And please reach out to me: Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. And if you want to be a part of the show, Happiness TV Network, please go to www.readyforhappiness.com forward slash happiness TV. You are such an incredible resource. I really appreciate you Mm -hmm. and everything that you're sharing and everything that you're doing with the Happy Business Show Magazine. Uh, Those are very, very important uh, uh, tools that you give us and, and you help to maximize our exposure. And we really appreciate that. Uh, Friends, you're going to find all of this information at offbeatbusiness.com. You'll be able to find our lineup. And make sure you don't miss any of our fantastic guests all throughout March as we talk about all the different ways that we're publishing in business today and how that can work for you. I think it's going to turn on some light bulbs, and it's a big deal. So you can find our lineup. You can find our replays. You can uh, subscribe to our magazine and actually read it right there on our website. Uh, So... Uh, You can also learn about our fabulous sponsors because we work with business owners who are really doing something in the community and make sure you uh, make yourself aware of the business owners that uh, are there for you, really providing the absolute best. And you'll hear more of them after this. Remember, you can find all of this information at offbeatbusiness.com. This is Susan Hamilton with Kathy Brandon. Until next time, toodaloo. Wonder Bar. Bar.